Please welcome this week's special guest, Ian. <laughs> so, Carol, what is Ian to you? Well, this is Ian, and to frighten a teacher, we once hid a ram inside a classroom cupboard. <laughs> Lee, how do you know Ian? This is Ian. He is the supermarket delivery driver who accidentally trapped me in the back of his van and drove me to his next drop-off point. <laughs> and finally, David, what's your relationship with Ian? This is Ian. He is a skydiver who got blown off course and almost knocked me off my bike. <laughs> right, there we have it. Uh, Carol's sheep prankster, Lee's accidental abductor, or David's diverted skydiver. Uh, David Mitchell and team, where are you going to begin? Um, well, right, well, Carol, let's start with the, with the ram in the cupboard. Um, <laughs> oh, the old David Mitchell chat-up line. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, wh why did you put a ram in a cupboard? Well, Ian and I went to school together in the Highlands and often you would see the sheep and the rams just, you know, meandering into the school grounds. Yeah. And this particular day, one came in. So uh, the ram wanders into the school grounds? Yes. But, and you think, oh, that's fine, it'll be quite docile, and I, I dare say it'll agree to get into a cupboard. <laughs> well, what happened was the teacher was late. He was quite often late. And we were in a wee porter cabin out the Are back. Are saying of the, the teacher school. was a drinker? <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, he was late, so we thought it'd be quite funny, because he was late, just to put this ram in his cupboard so that when he came in, the ram would be mad and come rampaging out. Does Ian look like the kind of man that would grab a, a ram and drag it into a cupboard yeah, he does. for a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> he does. He looks yeah, like he a really kind does. of a devil. And I think Carol, being attractive and beautiful, would have done that whole... Oh, let's just put a ram in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> and Ian would be like, I'll show you how to put a ram in the cupboard. <laughs> so when the teacher eventually arrived, how long was it before he went to his cupboard for a little look at his possessions? And, and what happened? It would have been about ten minutes. Ten minutes. And, of course, we were all sniggering in the sniggering. class. He opened the door. Opened the door. If Andrew Ram came rampaging right out of him. Is that rampaging. where the word rampaging yeah. comes from? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's when you're trying to contact a ram in the 1980s. <laughs> Who would you like to quiz next? Um, David, could you t describe uh, how Ian... Was it nearly hit you? Yeah, skydiving. I mean, this goes back to 92, and my, my family have always been involved in the Scouts of Ireland, and so I was... The, the big jamboree was in Wicklow, which is just outside of Dublin, and I was on a tandem bicycle with my aunt, who's one of the heads of Scouting Ireland, and we were heading uh, towards the jamboree, and they were launching a comic book character to remind kids not to start uh, fires in forests. And he was called uh, Fire Dog. And his catchphrase was, don't start a fire, woof. And <laughs> he, for the launch, they decided in the jamboree they were going to parachute uh, Fire Dog into the middle of the, of the jamboree. And we were um, on the, the <coughs> tandem heading towards it with our little scouty ties on. Can I just check? Fire dog, he says, don't start a fire, woof. He said, don't start a fire, woof, or don't start a fire, woof. <laughs> <laughs> which one is it? I want to know. I'm trying to genuinely wonder which is the campaign. This is actually quite easily solved immediately with a demonstration mm -hmm. because my understanding of skydivers is they have a really good core muscle. So essentially, if we do that bit from Dirty Dancing, we you actually didn't get up. any taller so when you stood up. <laughs> <laughs> that was the oddest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen anyone stand up and remain the same height. Yeah. That was shocking. If I just run towards you, like dirty, d and you just lift me up like the end, then you'll be a skydiver. And if you don't do it, I'll be really hurt and you're <laughs> dead. So. Likewise, in a minute, I'm going to ask you to shut me in the back well, of a van. I was just going <laughs> <laughs> to. So, what, what, are you, what are you planning to do? <laughs> he, I'm seeing whether or not he looks frightened by the prospect of me running towards him. <laughs> and he's got to lift me he up. He does look a bit frightened, yeah. <laughs> Also, Rob also looks frightened. <laughs> what if the 
the end of my story is that, and then he whacked against the wall, his legs shot off, and he had to have legs made of glass. <laughs> made. Is that the end of your story? No, no we're back no, to plan A. How far away from the jamboree were you at the po at the point of impact? Oh, well, oh, sorry, near impact. He had just missed the landing area by a few fathoms, yeah. and <laughs> sorry, it was an it was an aqua jamboree. <laughs> we swerved, we avoided him. He went into a hedge, and we pulled him out. I was well, I was fourteen or fifteen at the time, and my aunt and Ian got talking, and. That is why it's nice to have my Uncle Ian on the show. <laughs> oh, that is... Oh, no, that's a so your, this, That was this, a this, hell of a landing. That's a... That is a bombshell. <laughs> yeah. Your aunt met that's her fun. husband when he nearly hit her dressed as a dog. <laughs> <laughs> right, what about Lee? So, Lee, how did you accidentally get shot in his van? What happened? As you will know, that when the man who comes from the supermarket delivers your food, he delivers them in, like, a plastic box. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. So he leaves the box and he goes into the kitchen and he drops off the food. And what I decided to do is that I'll, I'll help, right? He brings the last box. I said, is that it? He said, yes, this is your last lot. Puts the thing, gets the bags, goes into the kitchen. Mr Nice here picks the nice plastic things up and takes them to his van. Oh, and God. So I go yeah. into the... <laughs> It's so like, this, is like the start, this is like the start of an episode of Casualty, isn't it? <laughs> so I go in, and as I put them in, I look to my left, and something catches my attention. A lamppost. No. And it's snowing. <laughs> no, no. And there's a form. <laughs> no, no. A little thing catches my eyes. Believe someone it or not, has, someone has locked a ram in the back of the van. <laughs> <laughs> it was, believe it or not, the thing that caught my eye... I don't believe it, was, by the way. ...was, was a slightly ripped box of Cocoa Pops. <laughs> and I thought, just for a minute, I thought, as Ian just had a little bit of a, like I would do, I'll have a little snack on route. So I just, I just walk over to it. Now, as I walk over to it, it's only a couple of steps, and I'm now hidden behind a box oh, you are kidding of me. food. That's you know, the, the box of the food, they haven't, they haven't yet been delivered. And at that moment, I hear the noise of the door shutting and the little handle turning. So why didn't you uh, call out? I did. What, and he didn't hear you? No. What, over the noise of a van engine? No, it's not, not very just loud. the van, the noise of Howard Jones on Magic FM. <laughs> 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 it was blasting. Why did you, you try? Yeah, I'm going, help, help! Why did you bang going, on the panel? Up? So, uh, we, we do need an answer. Is Ian Carol's sheep prankster, Lee's accidental abductor, or David's diverted skydiver? The key thing is I don't want to be fooled by David O'Doherty. That's the key. Look at him. Look at that. <laughs> do you remember, you know, in the brownies, you had the brownie promise and all that. So, do you remember anything from the, the, your scouting days, your it promise was, or anything? It's different in Ireland. The scouts don't have anything that you would possibly remember. <laughs> No, no promises, no, no value system, <laughs> other than if you see a dog go into a hedge, you marry it. <laughs> I would say Carol. I think, I, I think it's You David. say Carol, I think yeah. It's, I think it's David. You, you say Carol, you say David. I think it's David. So you're so going there go for with, with David. We're going okay. with David. Uh, <clears throat> Ian, would you please reveal your true identity? My name is Ian, Carol Nye, frightened by pizza, <laughs> by hiding a ram in the classroom cup. Lee, how do you know Ian? This is Ian. He is my supermarket delivery driver who accidentally got... I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know this is absolutely true. <laughs> But they do insist that we say it exactly the way it happened. So exactly here we go. Right. Um, <laughs> this is David. No, what's your name? <laughs> Lee, yeah? perhaps you'd like to explain how you know Ian. Never met him. <laughs> so this is Ian. Ian. No. <laughs> Lee. This is Ian. This is Ian. Listen, <laughs> I think it's fair to say the opposition.
opposition have got it down to 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Lee, how do you know Ian? This is Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, do me a favour, could you sellotape that to your face? <laughs> right. This is Ian, he is the supermarket delivery driver who accidentally trapped me in the back of his van and drove me to his next drop-off point. Right, and finally, uh, David. What is Lee to you? Not Lee, sorry. 